So the vision and mission, we need to you need to put establish this one first. You need to put them down. So this if you really put everything properly, it will help you. It will help to share the light into your business. Say for example, I I started a business um, some years ago. I started a a beauty business, a hairdressing business. I started from hairdressing, actually stylist. From there, I went, I go, went forward, and I said, okay, not just styling hair. Um, beauty is beyond just styling hair. Beauty goes to all around from your hair to your toes. You know that is where you talk about your hair. You talk about your skin, which is facial, skincare product, treatment of skin or different kind of skin, even to up to to toning, to brighten up the skin, and um, any kind of imperfection on the skin. So I went beyond that. From there, you go into nails. Then from there, we went into spa, you know, massage, and all those other things. So just in case one of the businesses where are there, where they run at the moment, two of them actually. Uh, one is in the UK here, yeah, which I don't. They do now for the past um, 20 this year go make and 21 years when I they run that cosmetic business where we sell all skin carriage, no hair product, all skin carriage. So if you are interested, if maybe you have a any kind of imperfection on your skin and you want to discuss her, please write down on my comment box, just type and say, I want to know more about uh, this skin. Or I, they, I get so much, some issues about my skin. I want to know, I don't know the right product to use for my skin. Please type it there on the comment box and trust me, we, we, one of us will respond to, to you. So, but if you're there for Nigeria or and you want to really go to a place where you can get from your hair to toe in beauty, we have uh, Age Beautiful One, Age Beautiful One in Akure. And where is there for Akure for Ondo State? It's right opposite Rainbow Motel in the Abraham Shopping Complex. So, now there we're there for that one. And our vision or uh, our mission is to promote, you know, to make sure that everything to train to train hairdressers, to train beauticians in the complete beauty. No, when I mean complete beauty, if you are, if you be a woman, they watch me. You will, you will hate when you go salon or you go do your hair or you go do anything, and then they wash your hair and they won't use dirty towel. So when I mean complete, from head to toe, complete beauty, and we won't train as many young people. I'm not say only young, but I I will say young in a way because. The young people they go they smarter and they go they quicker. But if you day season or um you don't day in the age where be say you think say you go fifty one learn and that's that the field where you won't go. Please type under the comment box. We our vision there is is so clear. We know where we they go and we want to make sure say people are treated the right way and they get the right product and they are happy with the product. So that's what we do and also our customer service will be number one. So we get we you know where we they go. So I won't really encourage you and say, if you did these areas or anywhere in Nigeria, just you can still drop message because our plan is to open at least three branches in that country. So and I know say una prayer is highly uh, appreciated. So keep praying for us. Okay. So as I they talk, they talk, they go. You know. You, um, in my in my life as a business person, if I tell you say it easy, it not easy. Say for example, one of the challenges I face, and I'm still working, I'm still working on it now in Nigeria is is staff. When we talk about staff, when we talk about um, the people where you will use, where you will work in your business, you know, people they not get the kind of, uh, they not get the uh, attitude of work, the way to work, they not get um, character to respect, they not get um, the quality as a proper business person or as a proper, as a work I go say, they respect the company policy, they don't get all those things in place. One of the things I face is the business, the place was supposed to, place of work, supposed to open 8 o'clock for example or 8.30 in the 8.30 a.m. in the morning and you see somebody you employ where they pay, where you they pay to do a job, we stroll in reluctantly at 10 o'clock. 10 a.m. You check them, 8.30 you're, you are supposed to resume work and you go turn up at 10 a.m. And when they stroll in, eh, they stroll in as if um, they are doing it for free or it's not a job. They are not serious at all. So those are the small, small, the kind of challenges me at the face with the business at the moment in Nigeria. You know, you meet these people that you employ to do something. 
they'll come in, they throw in whenever they want. Some of them do not respect your laws or your policy. Or where or they even they even to even bring the certificate where they say they go to school, they go learn beauty, they go to beauty school, or they learn for hairdressing uh, shop or whatever thing. Even if you ask them to provide certificate, there is no certificate. And even the ones when they go provide certificate for you, when you do the search on their certificate, you will find that their certificate is fake. They just created something just to give and to say, no, we just give another certificate you want. I on top, I go pop TV channel. Business matter, religious matter.